Hi everyone, if you're here this time you must want a second chance at spelling. It's because we shouldn't be scared of spelling, we should always have another try, shouldn't we? It's such a tricky business spelling. Let's work together to have another go at the words we found tricky this week when writing independently in class. This is what we're going to do. We're going to say it, spot it and spell it. Are you ready? Fighting. Fighting. Fight. I. Ng. Fighting. Fight. I. Ng. Think you've got it? It's got light up the night. I. It's like fight, light, night. We have looked at this sound in class, but it's okay. We always need to practice, don't we, to get better at everything. F I G H T I N G. Well done if you found that one. Oh, now this one, you can imagine the face Mrs. G is pulling in class. <clears throat> what? What? We've seen this one. Come on, year two, we can get this one. Which is the right way to spell what? It's a sight word, isn't it? We just need to know. W H A T. Well done. What about where? Where? Now, this is also a sight word and one that's a little bit tricky. There is another word on the board that means something else and that's what we've used in class but these two are really complicated and lots of children older than us get this wrong as well so shall we see if we can work it out together w -er -er. sight word w h e r e well done if you knew it was that one this is another sight word really they 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 Look carefully at the words and decide which ones it can't be where we don't put the a certain a sounds don't get the end of words do they this is actually an a sound that we don't hear a lot you know it's obey the prey a would be easy if it was thy but it's not that's why spelling is tricky think you spotted it they sight word that one that's why it's red just one we need to know what about having, having? Now this is hard. I was really pleased with who spelt this because they spelt have right and then they added ing. There is a rule that we're going to learn in year two this year. So when we say having, that means that it's in the present tense, it's happening now and there is a rule. There's just one thing when adding ing, if it ends in e, set it free before you add ing. Now that won't mean anything to you yet, but it will in the next few weeks having okay have a look so the word have is h-a-v-e before we add i-n-g we get rid of the e so it becomes h-a-v-i-n-g well done if you got that one i'm really proud of you what about home home you've seen this word a lot haven't you listen to the sounds the way i sound it out it might give you a clue <sighs> Home. Um, did you hear a split diagraph? You should have done H-O-M-E. Well done. What about tank? T -a -nk. T -a -nk. Tank. Tank. Now because there's a, not a vowel before the k sound, it's not actually pack the sack. When it, there's a consonant, a letter that's not A E I O R U, you just use a K on its own. Did you find it? T A N K. Well done. What about badge? Now, badge. The soldier's got a badge of honour. That's what we wanted to write. Now, think back to the beginning of year two. We have met the trigraph, the three letters that make the j j j j j sound. B A J. Think you spotted it? That's it, Miss Tudge loves fudge, j j j j j b a d g e. Well done. What about everyone? Now this one's been in our list before, and that's okay. I see it as two words together. So if you know how to spell the number word one, and you know how to spell the word every, it's a compound word. So we put those two words together. E v r e one, everyone. That you spotted it. E V E R Y and then the number word one O N E. Well done. What about hats? H at hats. 
Now I do know why someone's put SE on the end of this word, I really do, because in house and please we've been learning that it's se haven't we okay but that's because in those words there's an e and an ow sound a vowel sound okay so we put an s and an e but with it when we end in a consonant a t is not an a e i o or u it's just an s listen carefully again to decide that at hats there it is well done okay now this is another confusing one because this does have a vowel sound in it, but it's not S E. Trees. T R E S. Trees. Okay, well done. T R E E S. But this is why English is so hard. You learn one rule and then you try and use it and it gets all mixed up. Don't worry, year two. I'm here to practice with you all year and even after that if you want to come back and see me. Okay. What about attacking? A really long word, but I think we can sound it out. At, t, ak, i, ng, attack, ing, at, t, ak, ing. There you go. A double T A C K. Pack the sack because it's come after a vowel sound. I N G. Well done. What about visit? Visit. V I S. It vis it does sound like a Z making that sound in visit, but it's not okay. It's actually the first sound that someone got mixed up this week. There it is V I S I T. What about finished? Now, words that are in the past tense so tricky because it sounds like it's a t or a d on its own. When we put lots of doing words, verbs. A verb is a doing word, action, 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 verb. When we put those words in the past, we add letters ED. And we'll be learning lots about that in the coming weeks. ED. And it does sound like it makes a T or an ID sound. Okay, but when you hear, I'll try and sound it out, see if you can hear it properly. F-I-N-I-S-H-E-D. Finished. Finished. f i n i s h Ed, e D. There it is. F I N I S H E D. Well done. Now, this one surprised me actually because I don't think people were using their phoneme fingers. Let's slow down a little bit and try and sound this word out. Sh U T I N G. Sh U T I N G. Now, there is more than one way to make the U sound on the board at the moment. One of the oo sounds, chew the stew oo, goes mostly at the end of words, okay? So it can be tricky and we're going to be learning. There's some new videos called Groovy Guess the Groovy Graphemes coming up very soon. So they'll be helping us pick the right sound. Shooting. I think you've spotted it. Moon on a spoon oo, this word's got in it. S-H-O-O-T-I-N-G. Okay, what's about path? A th. Listen carefully to that end sound. P a th. There you go. Teeth in your mouth. Th. P a t h. Well done. What's about next? Next. Now, what I've just told you about the word finished, adding ed when you hear that sound. We only do that to a verb. A verb is a doing word. Action, action, action. Verb. So n x. It is a t because next is a time word, it's not a doing word, okay? But well done for trying to apply a rule that you've been taught. It's good to know that you are really working and listening hard. What about thinking? Looks like a big word, but we can sound it out if we slow down and use our phoneme fingers. Th-i-n-k-i-ng, thinking, th-i-n-k-i-ng, thinking. There it is. Teeth in your mouth. Th again. T H I N K I N G. What about to wrench? To wrench. Had this one last week and we had a really good try at it. I was pleased to see that most people got the tricky ch ending at the end. Let's listen to it one more time. T R N S H trench. Can sound like sh, but it's ch. T R N S H. That's it, T-R-E-N-C-H, well done. Now we're going to go and have a go if you're doing this with me in class, okay? 
or go back and practice any more if you want to check out the other super spellers and you'll be ready for the spelling assessments coming up in the next few weeks okay i know you're going to be a super speller in no time here are some of the phonemes we've met today light up the night i the wetter the better er phone home i'm all alone oh pack the sack k k k shush in the shop shh think in the sink Cheesy feet, E and Miss Tudge loves fudge, j j j j j. Leave me a like if you're going to become a super speller this year. Bye for now.